Sun Wei Kong. Today is my presentation, and my, uh, the topic of my presentation is study of an autonomous fruit picking robot system in greenhouse. Study of an autonomous fruit picking robot system in greenhouse. This paper is from the journal EA Eve. I will follow the outline to introduce this paper in order. The first part is the introduction. Greenhouse fruit and vegetables are mostly harvested manually. And, and the process in Taiwan is labor intensive. But other countries like Japan, Korea, the United States, and some European countries are developing agriculture operation robots to solve the harvesting problem. The objective of this study was to develop an autonomous picking robot system for greenhouse grown tomato yields, which consists of four major. The first one is an adapter, machine version machine with vision, robot carrier, and a control system. According to the develop, development, the technology of applying robots to agricultural production has become mature, and it needs to be further tested for real tomato picking operation in greenhouse in the future. The second part is methods and mater materials and methods. In this part, I will divide it into two parts to introduce. That is the design of the autonomous picking robot <coughs> system and the picking test. The autonomous picking robot system proposed by this study consists of four major components. The end factor, the machine vision, robot carrier, and control vision. And the control system I will uh, the control system consists of robot carrier control, ima image processing, robot arm and end effector control, and uh, the last one is central control unit. As for, as for picking test, I will present the joint picking test of end effector, and uh, the second one is integration test of the autonomous picking system. Okay, it, the first part is design of the autonomous picking robot system. The end, the end of factor of this study is fixed to the front end of the robot arm. The control sy symbol of the end of factor are transmitted from the computer or controlled by the robot arm control unit through the RS232 adapter card. This picture is the schematic diagram of an effector. The end of the end effector is designed as four fingers. Each finger has three joints, which can bend by spring leaves, and each finger is mounted with foam-like soft coating material to reduce the fruit and vegetable injuries get during picking. In addition, the end effector is equipped with the photoelectric proximity switch switch, two limit switches, and four solenoid actuator to detect whether the tomato is in the clamping code and drive the claw fingers to bend. The second one is design of the machine vision system. The machine vision system consists of an image capture adapter card and a CCD camera and a lens. The, the, re the resolution of the CCD camera is 768 pixels multiplied by 494 pixels. The sensor chip is 1 third inch and the chip size is 4.8 millimeter multiplied by 3.6 millimeter. And the lens focus is 8 millimeter and the aperture range is 1.3 to 16. The camera transfers the capture image signals to the computer by an image capture adapter card for the further processing, and the image are displayed on the screen. 
The stereo vision system obtains an actual three dimension, dimensional position of each tomato feature for the end effector has in uh, planning. The third part is design of the robot carrier. It carries the robot arm, lifting platform, controller, robot arm controller, and PC and the carrier driving motor. It has position control in two axes, include X axis and uh, robot carrier Y axis. The fourth part is control system. This picture is the details of the control system. This study used the LabVIEW version 7.1 image control program language of NI as the control software. The control system consists of the robot arm and end of vector control, image processing, robot carrier control, and the control and the central control unit. The first one, robot carrier control. Look at the picture on the right. The picture shows the schematic diagram of the control hardware structure of the robot carrier. The computer transports control instruction to the PLC, which is in charge of the position control in XY directions of the robot carrier. The RS232 is used as the transmission interface for the computer and the PLC. The four wheels of the robot carrier moves on the rail of the carrier in the X direction, which drives by a 30 to 1 reduction motor of 3 phase, 230 volts and 90 watts. A rotary encoder with 400 pulse per revolution is employed to count the pulse to calculate the moving distance of the carrier wheels. And the platform moves up and down in the Y direction. It's driven by a hydraulic device and a linear encoder with 0.5 millimeters per pulse. It applies to calculate the displacement of the platform. The second part in image processing. The camera was controlled through an image capture card using an IMAQ. What is IMAQ? It is a module that was the image processing toolkit of LabVIEW. At first, the camera, the camera gets good exposure image and conducts wide balance and adjustments to obtain a good image. The program utilizes the shield index from the HIS color system to perform toma tomato grading then search the tomato position, individual and the, the external characteristics on two-dimensional coordinates. In addition, the program could also use image processing method to find the center of the tomato if the situation of overlapping tomato is occurred. And the third one is robot arm and end of vector. Look at a picture on the left, on the right. The robot arm control unit communicates with the computer via RS232. The picture shows the control action flow of the robot arm system. First, the claw of the robot arm is fixed right in front of the target tomato, and the stretch the and the stretch is in this direction, and drive the solenoid to bend the claw finger. The robot arm then retract it in the same direction. The proximity switch detects whether there is a target tomato. If not, the, if not, the finger will be released by resetting the solenoids and this action flow will be finished. If there is a target tomato, the claw will be driven and clamped and hold it. Meanwhile, the limit switch signal will be detected to judge whether the limit switch is target triggered, meaning whether the finger bends into a set position. If it is not triggered, whether the clamping of the claw has reached the limit will be judged. Will be judged. If not, the clamping will continue. If it has reached the limit. The code will rotate it to remove the tomato from stem.
The robot arm will then be driven to place and remove the tomato into the basket. Uh, and the, the fourth, fourth part is central control. The picture on the left is the it shows the contraction flow of the picking robot system. System it has three stages. And uh, this is picking cast. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is drawing picking cast of the end of better and the vision system. The working distance of the camera is 660 millimeters, and the feature field is 396 millimeters by 297 millimeters. And, the, and the, it is accounting for 52.57% of the visual field area. If the very centric coordinate of the target in image analysis are in this range, the target can be picked by the end of vector. The third is the formula of the picking success rate. The second part, integration test of the autonomous picking system. This picture is content uh, carrier movement, platform up and down image uh, equation and, and uh, analysis and picking. The third part is result and discussion. The first one is prototype of the automatic picking robot system. This feature, this feature is the, is shows the picking system. The dimension dimension of the greenhouse grown tomato picking robot system are are one thousand and sixty fifty multiplied seven hundred and multiply one thousand. 350 millimeters, and the total weight is around 2,190 newton, newtons. This table is shows uh, the result of the integrated picking test. This total, this, uh, as seen, the overall the overall picking success rate is more than. 89.63%. The average picking success rate of the test ball with diameter of 6, 60 millimeters, 70 millimeters, and 80 millimeters. That were 94.83% and 91.83% and 89.63% uh, respectively. The average time for picking a ball was 35.96 seconds. In other words, the picking oper operation cap study per hour is 100.1 volts. Uh, the final one is conclusion. This study developed a greenhouse grown tomato autonomous picking robot system. The picking robot system consists of a robot arm and an and, and vector. Mach machine vision and a robot carrier. And the control system consists of four units, including a robot arm and, and a vector control, image equation and uh, analysis, robot carrier control and central control units. Let's use the LabVIEW version 7.1 graphic program language were used for the constructing the control program. And uh, the second, if the field range is 396 multiplied by 297 millimeters, this range within which the which the end effector can pick target is 336 multiplied by 184 millimeters, accounting for 52.57 percent of the visual field area. According to the picking success rate of the end vector integrated with machine machine, since the end vector size is fixed, a higher, a higher accuracy is required for picking large, large fruits. Therefore, fruit size influences the picking successful rate. 
They study develop the software and hardware for the greenhouse for tomato picking robot system. And the expected function requirement was met. The practical greenhouse from tomato picking operation test will be enhanced in the future. So the system will be more, will be more practical and applicable. I have already finished my presentation. Thanks for your listening. Thank you.
layer on um, in in end of a gacture, layer on four fingers, and uh, and uh, it has a uh, a material of soft soft. Each finger is mounted with a four like soft coating materials. And this material uh, this material is it, it can reduce the fruit and the, the favorable get hurt by pick, by picking up. Uh, can I answer your question? Um, okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more questions? Thank you. Uh, I'd like to know what is the maximum loot uh, picking uh, capacity of a picture. I mean, the individual uh, capacity to pick up the, um, in terms of ways is the dance and pick up. The individual capacity, how much it can pick up at times, that means loop in kg kilogram like that. The end of the is weight, uh, it can... Uh, the study is not mentioning it, but it can mention the... Uh, to move up. 
this I saw you from the picture is like really maybe. <coughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. I, I have some comments. Uh, the system I include is the stereo vision system. So uh, not only the XY coordinates, but also the uh, uh, three dimensional uh, location. So, okay. Any, any, any comments from uh, Japan? Questions? Any more questions? So, uh, no more questions from Japan. Okay, so thank you, thank you very much for the speakers.